Hello and thanks for joining us on the second episode of NTech TV. My name is Pamela and I'll be bringing you the latest and greatest technology that will be showcased at the NTech 2011 Expo in Sydney. It was great to read all the feedback we got from our last episode and we're glad that you enjoyed it. If there's anything you would like to see on future NTech TV episodes, let us know by writing an email to the address below. In this episode, we will talk to Dave Croson and Kane Davis, who are riggers for Harry the Hirer, and they show us how they go about rigging trust for events. Also, we have a look at Show Technologies' new iPhone and iPad apps for lighting. But first, Maya Sound have been an industry giant in innovation and technology, and have introduced a new product to the Infocom trade show in Las Vegas called Constellation. With rave reviews, the new Constellation system brings listening to a whole new level. The Maya Constellation system is the latest innovation from Maya Sound, incorporating the technology to change the acoustic properties of a particular venue. The Constellation system can be purpose-built to suit any venue and allow acoustic treatment without changing the infrastructure. Once Constellation is installed, you can change the acoustic properties in the venue by the flick of a switch. Constellation allows the listener to experience the sound the way the artist intended. To give you an example, listen to this. Constellation system is based on very sophisticated technology, but it's important that it's easy to use. So in concert halls and performing arts centres, as well as in this booth, we leave the operators with a very simple touchscreen controller. Here we have three presets on this booth, small, medium and large. The small preset actually simulates a very small room of 60 feet wide and 60 feet deep, and the idea of this is it's got a low reverberation time and very dense reflections. The medium concert hall, the medium setting is a medium concert hall and that is typical of the performing arts centres and concert halls around the world where uh, romantic and symphonic classical repertoire is performed. The large preset is designed uh, to simulate a large empty 3,000 seat concert hall with lots of wood and concrete. So um, using that setting we can simulate a very big space indeed so obviously we're in a trade show environment and we can't do it exactly but it's an attempt to get as close as we can to those kind of environments. Welcome back. Since Apple's introduction of the iPhone a few years ago, many companies have created apps to help the logistical ease of focusing and implementing effects in a flexible manner. Show Technologies have two apps, the Grand MA and the MAX Remote. The Grand MA and MAX Remote app is compatible with iPhones, iPod Touch and iPads and requires operating systems 2.21 or later to operate. The Grand MA Remote consoles are the basis of the integrated MA systems and they enable the user to control moving lights, standard conventional lights, effects, LED lights and also video, all from a touch on this application. With the entertainment industry using more moving lights, the use of remote control units together with lighting control systems has become very important to achieve a faster and better look for the operator. 
The Grand MA can use up to six remote control units with each console and the software is available free of charge. The Grand MA can be configured for every application such as entertainment, TV, theatre and concert touring. Elegant programming and control of moving lights, dimmers, LEDs, effects and media servers makes the Grand MA a must-have when working with MA lighting systems. Another app that Show Technologies have is the MAX Remote. The MAX Remote by Martin Lighting is your personal assistant to remotely controlling lighting devices from your iPhone or iPad. It is the ultimate tool for the Martin Maxis Lighting Console and the Martin Maxis PC with a great interface and original features. The MAX Remote will discover your remote lighting devices automatically and allows you to manipulate the presets, fixtures and channel when you connect to the Maxis. The pan tilt function allows you to control and change the pan and tilt of a moving head via the built-in accelerometer on your phone or iPod touch. The Max Remote also allows you to control the colour values in both CMY and RGB modes which support Lee, GAM and Roscoe filters. The feature that the MAX Remote have are password protection, integrated help, automatic discovery, black skin for dark environments, create and edit presets, easy manipulation for all DMX channels and much more. To see the full list of features for both the Grand MA and the MAX Remote, log on to iTunes and type in your desired app. And now it's time for an education report from Julius Media. Welcome to the Education Report. This episode we're going to look at what can possibly go wrong at the mixing console. Human error will kill mixers. If you stop audio, then your audience are potentially going to become agitated. They may riot. They'll certainly require a refund. And all of those things are career ending for you. So before you get in front of a console, consider what can happen. We've got a mute button that's nice and lit up. Now we've got audio. Life is good. What if I press this button? Suddenly everything's gone away. But I pan left, it's there. I pan right, it's there. I pan back to centre, nothing's coming out the centre output on the console. What about these buttons? There's eight possibilities here. Select any of them, your audio is going to stop. They're VCA assign buttons. With no VCA group active, then no audio. So there's a lot of things that can happen right around the fader on this particular desk. It's a good desk. Every desk has show-stopping buttons. You need to learn the functions of the console before you stand in front of it, okay? Technical knowledge is one thing. Artistic ability is another. You need the two of them to be a good live sound engineer. Thanks for watching. That's it for this episode. Is it the summer? Is it the summer? World class manufacturers depend upon national audio systems. Australia's number one distributor of pro and commercial audio. You can achieve great things with the right products, people and professionals. National Audio System. The Clearcom IF4B modular 4-wire interface is a perfect piece of equipment for stage managers and directors to call cues both on-set and international feeds live. The IF4B connects to two-way radios, fibre optics, camera intercoms and other 4-wire devices to a standard Clearcom intercom line. Featuring broadcast quality circuitry, the unit meets industry standard 600 ohms transmit receive to Clearcom line levels. If you are directing a small event or a large-scale event, the Clearcom IF4B modular 4-wire interface is your key for clear communication. Welcome back. Rigging events is a massive job and needs to be done by trained professionals. We went on location with Dave Croson and Kane Davis and they explained how rigging truss can be a great way to make a living. I have to make sure that what the organiser or, or client is asking for is physically possible um, with regards to what they want to hang, where they want to hang it, how much weight we can put on it. 
So uh, yeah, I'm very hands-on because there's a lot of times when they want us to do something and, and we can't because it's, it's not possible because of, of weight restrictions in a building or the spans are too great between rigging points. Mm. We do a lot of marquee work as well, so Harry De Hira has a lot of marquees mm. and that's one of the worst venues, I suppose, as much as it's, it's a marquee. Um, we can only rig in certain points, it's a very low uh, weight loading. Um, and even a building like this one here, the REB, um, it's, it's because it's such an old building, it's heritage listed, we don't get a lot of weight to play with basically. Mm. So we've got to be very careful that we don't overload any of the you know, 100 year old beams. Um, and it's all done safely and well within the, the safe working lines. Box truss, 300 mil, 400 mil, 500 mil, and then anything bigger than that where we hang in a, a lot of weight would be uh, concert truss. Um, but we tend to, because it's an exhibition or a fashion parade, we stick with 500 mil box truss. It gives us um, a lot of weight to hang. We can hang LED screens off it, PA arrays, that kind of thing. Different workloads, different lengths, or different spans between rigging points. Up, you know, up to 12 metres wide, we get to a point loading or a uniform loading. So depending on the width of the, of the span, depends on how much weight we can actually hang on the truss. Um, tri truss is probably the, the least amount of, uh, of weight we can hang when we, uh, when we put this truss up. Um, but for something like this, where there's only a few lights down the truss, it's well within its um, safe working load. Uh, there are different uh, different types of licences from basic through to advanced. Mm. You have to, everyone has to do a, a, a dogger's ticket, which means you have to be able to control cranes, a lot of construction site work. Um, because we work in the entertainment industry, it, the chances are a lot of us aren't going to go out onto construction sites. Okay. The uh, Cityscape Extreme is a large-scale LED outdoor wash light. It can be used for large-scale washes, whether on a stage or an audience wash, or lighting a backdrop. And it can be used uh, very widely in architectural purposes for large area washes, washing the front of buildings or highlighting different items. It features uh, 188 Luxian K2 LEDs in red, green, blue and white. Uh, and it's the most powerful LED outdoor wash light on the market currently. I mean, the, the fixture's been designed with uh, outdoor use in mind, so it's IP65 rated and uh, it's fully weatherproof at that point. It's brighter than most of the competitors on the market and it features uh, two independently focusable leaves, so you can point the fixture at two different areas at the same time, lighting the top and bottom of the building with a single fixture. There's different lensing available for the fixture, uh, so it comes with a 9 degree and a 22 degree option with, by means of a frosted glass. Uh, there's also barn doors and top hats available for it for reduce of spill. There's standalone control on the fixture so you can set it to run by itself, otherwise it's DMX compatible and you can have anywhere from 3 up to I think 16 channels of control over it. On full power this fixture will last a minimum of 15,000 hours and that's the rated life of the LEDs, uh, but in economy mode we're looking at 60,000 hours plus and that's before the LEDs start to fade, whereas uh, the traditional fixtures you're probably looking at two to 3,000 hours minimum between life changes. Your sound system is only as good as its weakest link, and with this in mind, choosing exceptional equipment is critical. Cutting a corner in just one part of your system can dramatically reduce expected performance. At Jans, the brands we represent are world-renowned for their reliability and industry acceptance. Our range of products are designed to create virtually any type of audio system. From a small bar to a convention centre, a basic pub gig to a full concert touring rig, there are products in our stable for everyone. Jans, the number one supplier of professional audio products for over 40 years. Well, that's all for this episode of NTech TV. Be sure to join us in the next episode when we go to the Spring Carnival and show the technology that the punters come to enjoy. Bye for now. In our last episode, we did a story on mapping and projection with Ian Kirkwood from Staging Connections. The story was intended to be an insight into this new technology and we used images from overseas to highlight what can be done. Unfortunately, the story came across as if Staging Connections have done these jobs and the producer would like to apologise if this misled anyone in any way. Thank you.